Once you've completed uploading your tracks, you can go ahead and edit the metadata around those tracks. To do this, you select a track, right click and select edit. This will bring up the edit media item screen, which allows you to edit the basic fields like title, artist, album, composer, other fields like track number if it's part of an album, year, beats per minute, and duration is filled in automatically for you. Then you can change the media type or the priority of the track if you're using weighted rotation. You can also enter in a buy link, a website, specify which genres the track belongs to and which moods. You can also upload an album cover art picture by clicking this button here or drag and drop an image file onto this area over here. Alternatively, you can go ahead and search for album cover art. You can search on iTunes, Amazon or Google. And if you put in your affiliate ID, you will also earn commission for every sale. So let's say this is the correct album and we double click that to select it. You will notice that not only is the album cover art filled in, but also the buy link and website link is then automatically completed. There's also additional fields you can fill in on their extended info like label, P line, international standard recording code, catalog number, and UPC, universal product code. You can also see the date at which, on which the track was added, as well as the regional location. Note that if you're uploading using the web interface, the track will always start with dash import dash file name. If you want the real original location, you would need to use the library import utility because it has an option to preserve the original file path. Other things you can complete is comments if you have any specific comments about the track or if you would like to include the lyrics of the track. And you can also see history which shows you when this track has played recently. As you can see, this track has played 25 times over the last 29 days. And you can also do per track audio settings. So I can decide if I want to allow crossfading on this track or, um, or how the fade profile needs to look like. Audio setting is actually covered in much more detail in its own video. So look out for that one. So once I've made all the changes I needed to, I can just click save to apply the changes. And the other thing you can see is that you can actually select multiple items, right click and say edit. And now you can quickly jump between different items in order to edit them. So this allows you to edit many items at the same time. And that's a quick overview of how to use the media item editor to change the metadata around your tracks.